Hi. So uh, in this uh, session, I'm going to uh, discuss the uh, how to create um, using the device mem uh, device memory I/O access. How to uh, basically uh, access the uh, the soft using the software to access the memory space uh, of a device in your or devices in your FPGA that you've created. So all your peripherals must have some sort of addresses assigned to them. So you you need to figure out how to access it in uh, in uh, when you have a Peta Linux uh, environment that you basically created for your FPGA. And uh, to do this, uh, we want, we're going to be using the device uh, device memory uh, user space uh, access uh, method, direct access method. So let me just kind of walk you through uh, some of the steps. Uh, I'll do another video like how I created my uh, Peta Linux environment, uh, board support package, and uh, you know first stage bootloader, uh, and the the code and the uh, the templates and for the C. Uh, so in the project, uh, that's like I'll do another session, but I just want to basically give you like a quick uh, how to access. From Peta, from Linux, from the uh, from your software environment running on Peta Linux, into your FPGA devices or IP blocks. Okay, so here's the uh, here's let me show you. Here's basically an FPGA board. I'm using a Z board. Okay, as you can see. So I've already uh, flashed the SD card and I booted it up with my FPGA uh, Peta Linux uh, build. Okay. So here is the uh, block diagram, and in this block diagram, you know, I got a PS processor that's uh, a Zinc processor that's talking to uh, the um, talking to uh, let's say this uh, one of these peripherals. It's an LED 8 bits, okay? So that one has an address from using the address editor. It's got the address assigned 4121000, okay? So let's say I compiled this uh, code and I generated an HDF file and then went and created a, a Peta Linux project out of this HDF file. Okay, so then how do I access from Peta Linux, like using C, my, uh, into like, to my registers, the GPIOs. How do I read and write to GPIOs? Okay, so what? This is how I I'm, I'm going to do this. So there is this uh, device memory, okay, that you have to actually include that when you build it in your kernel. You have to inc include it so it, it creates this device device I/O access driver in your kernel. And then after that, um, after doing all that. So let's say uh, you need to create a, a project, uh, like a, a C project, okay? So you, you create your C, uh, and, and I created it. I called it myled.c. In there, okay, I have to, you have to find out what that what the address is, right? So 41210000 was the LED GPIO uh, the, uh, ad, uh, IP ad address. Okay, into, into the FPGA. So I need to access that. And then also like looking at your uh, created system uh, device tree, that IP should be in there, in your device tree. Because that's when, when the Linux boots up, the Peta Linux boots up, it reads the device tree and knows what peripherals are, are hanging off of it, you know, so it knows how to access it. So that's that GPIO address is basically, it's right here. And so I'm the so now let's go in here. So how do I map this physical address of the FPGA uh, IP to my Peta Linux memory space? So basically, there's this open. You open the device memory uh, I/O, device memory I/O user I/O uh, location uh, driver. Okay, so 
actually this this should be if you go and look in your uh, dev mem you should see like a dev mem in your in your Petal Linux uh, boot file system okay so you open it and assign it to this F, uh, FD uh, int and then over here this uses the mm map function and uh, basically pass this LED address into it and then it basically gives you a translated address to the LE LEDs okay and now you can use this as a pointer to write a read um, so it's like reading and writing in memory location and that's going to whatever you put in in that location is going to go directly to your GPIO uh, inside your uh, your FPGA so uh, and you can see over here that's like I do a scanf and I get a value and I assign it to that pointer LEDs and it gets written hopefully okay so let's uh, go in and go ahead and create the uh, uh, first what you need to do is you have to let me just close this up here okay what you need to do is first uh, create an SSH session okay so let me see here what's in here okay all right so you need to first figure out what your uh, IP address is so I'm gonna type in ifconfig now this is the the device terminal that basically I booted when I connected to your UART coming out of the uh, PS processor you know it's this so that's how if you build everything everything is going right your Linux boots up or Petal Linux boots up you know you should see this uh, uh, this come up into this mode you know it's like the uh, uh, that means the Linux is alive so in the when I did an IF config so I see the uh, IP address that's been assigned there's a DHCP server that's built uh, into the Linux kernel uh, it's connected to a, a router so it gets an IP address so I'm gonna go and SSH into that IP address okay that's gonna ask for a password in this case it's root okay so I'm connected now so now I need to basically copy so I go to where I created the uh, that C project that I was showing you and it's right here okay it's called my LED C so first you need to like uh, compile it and then using this command uh, you compile it to this my LED test object and you're gonna take this object bina uh, binary file and copy it into your uh, Linux uh, Petal Linux drive so there I I execute that okay creates that file and then I'll just go and do a copy to that IP address my LED test okay that's where password is root okay so it copied it now it should in the SSH session I should be able to see it okay there it is the object is there at my LED test also in my terminal uh, your terminal I should see the same okay so I can run now I can run that uh, code in my Petal Linux uh, FPGA so I can either run it from the uh, let's say let's run it from the SSH session my LED test the road is the, the, the code is uh, running simple code asks to enter this okay now let's go and let me show you the FPGA here so I'm gonna write this zero to clear that register okay so I'm gonna move this away. okay and let's write a uh, Seven should turn on three of the LEDs. There you go. Okay. Let's just uh, now let's write something else. Okay. There you go. It's 
how you control the uh, GPIO. Okay, thank you. Uh, if you have any questions, drop me a line. Uh, and I'm going to be sharing the code for whoever wants to look at it. It's a simple code and hope you find it easy to access your GPIO memory locations or any of the IP memory locations in your FPGA this, uh, using this uh, device memory user IO me method. Thank you.